All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call and text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, man, let's talk about the NBA Finals ratings for game one compared to its predecessor uh, in the bubble. Um, so it's being reported that um, game one of the Suns and the Bucks did 8.5 million viewers, okay, uh, compared to uh, last year, 7.4 million. And the year before that, in 2019, when the Raptors took on the Golden State Warriors, 13.3 million, okay. So um, most people are blaming on or the digital era where every, you know people can watch it in different ways. I mean, pretty sure they probably got the ABC app where you can watch it through the ESPN app. Um, so let's talk about it. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. We had added a um, video for the prediction for the series in the NBA 101 playlist. You can check that out for the live streams and the prediction for the series. But um, I'm not surprised. I mean, I mean, you go to the Jordan era and it's, the numbers are, are whopping, are whoppers, all right? Big, big numbers. But this is the digital era. I mean, people can stream it. You know, you got third-party streaming parties. You got the apps. You got, you know, all that. So I'm not surprised. I mean, you know, they did a million, point one, 1.1 million more estimated around there because the bubble was terrible. You know, but the bubble still in the digital era where you can stream, they did 13.3 game one. Okay, in the NBA, man, they're going to lose. They're going to lose a lot. You know, they're going to lose a lot in the, uh, you know, a lot of sponsorships and stuff. But it's a digital era. People still watching it. Um, people still watching it. But um, but at the same time, I just think the digital era is just you know, killing the game right now. It's killing the game. You can just watch it so many ways. I could watch it on apps. I could watch it on illegal streams. I could watch it on legal streams. I mean... They don't, Nielsen ratings don't have a, uh, Nielsen ratings don't have a jurisdiction on, on digital apps. They don't have a jurisdiction on digital apps, but, um, so you look at the history, let's just say since 2010, game ones, the Celtics and Lakers, which we know that's huge historically, they did 18 million game one. Okay, you go to, uh, the, the Mavs and Heat, where the, the Mavericks beat LeBron in the first year in Miami, they did 17, over 17 million. You go to Oklahoma City, Miami Heat, where it was a gentleman sweep for the Heat, first championship for LeBron, 16 million in game one. Um, Miami Heat versus Spurs is 17.4 million, when Miami came on top. 2014, Spurs come back and gentlemen sweep the Heat. Game one was 9.3 million. So I mean that 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 wasn't a great series at all. You go to game two, nine million. Game three, oh excuse me, I'm reading it all wrong. Fifteen million watching, excuse me. Sorry. Fifteen. So fourteen plus, fifteen plus, fourteen plus, fourteen plus, and eighteen million watched the closeout game in game five. The Warriors and the Cavs, almost twenty million people watched that watched that game one. They went to seventeen, then nineteen, then eighteen, then nineteen, and then twenty. They went to twenty the first time they played. 23 in the closeout game for the Warriors. You know, so that's 2015-16 when LeBron came back to one. 31 million when he was down 3-1 or whatever it was. 31 million tapped in for game seven. Game one was 19 million. Well, shoot, excuse me, 20 million. And then when the Warriors came back and did the gentleman sweep, 20 million viewers tapped in to watch game one. Then 18, under 20, 20, 19. 24 million watched the Warriors with a gentleman sweep. The following year, when they swept the Cavaliers, 17 million watched Game One. 17 plus million, well, 17 plus, 17 plus, 18 plus, 17 plus, 16. So, you know, the Raptors, Game One was 15 million when they played the Warriors. 13, 14, 13, 13, 18, and 18 plus million people tapped off and tapped in for Game Six. Well, actually, it was terrible. And we talking about the Warriors. I mean, the, this year with the Suns and and um and the Bucks only doing 8.5 million. You know, can I can I go back and find a finals that did less than 8.5 other than last year? It's tough. 
tough, man. Hold on. Let's see if we go back to... No. Man, it's tough. I mean, you ain't finding too many game ones do that. I mean, post, like, post uh, Jordan, post Bear Bird and Magic era, yes. All right? Post Jordan, Magic and Bird era, yes. I mean, even in that era, maybe yes. But um, it's tough. It's tough. So the GOAT was when Jordan closed it out. When the highest was 29 million people tapped in for game one. And Jordan last year beating the Jazz. 35 million people closed out, watched the closeout game. I mean, didn't remember the lockout year with the Spurs and the, and the Knicks for those who are old enough? They still did 16, 16, 13, under 14, 17, 16, 15. The Pacers versus the, versus the Lakers, and the Lakers thumped them. The Lakers, Kobe and Shaq first ship. 17, 10, 10, 10, 13, 10. All right, um... When the Lakers swept the Jersey Nets with Jason Kidd and them, 15 plus 15 plus 14, 16 plus 16 plus. All right, here we go. We got a, we got a low. Jersey versus the Spurs. Game three is 8.6 million people. So that was the lowest of that series. So that's wild. Spurs versus Cavaliers only did 9.2 view viewerships. So there's been some bummers in there, man. There's been some real bummers in there. But you, you, once you look at this this list, you will understand why the NBA pushes for stars. You know, you understand why they changed the rules for the Spurs and the, and the Pistons, even though the Spurs kept going on. Spurs, Pistons, 12, 10, 10. You know, even the Lakers versus Pistons, 17, 15. They did average. They did 20 million people, 21 million people in the, in the closeout game. So you understand why they push for stars. I mean, why they want LeBron and Steph in there. Because more people watching with LeBron and Steph in there. So it's hard to go back to our organic basketball experience when LeBron and Steph bring the best viewership ships in there. They had, you know, LeBron had almost 30 million people watching when he closed out the Spurs, 26 million. When Steph Curry and them was hooping against each other, they did almost 24 million when the Warriors won. So you understand why. You understand why they pushed it. They did 31 million game seven when the, when the Cavaliers came back and swept them. So you understand why, you know, they push for those things. But Jordan is the goal. He had 35 in, you know, the closeout game. Almost 36. So, you know, everybody know he, he wasn't coming back. That's probably what it was. But, um, yeah, the NBA, I think the pandemic really messed them up. Because before the pandemic, you know, the Warriors and, and the Toronto did solid. But then from this point on, they're going to keep pushing for guys like LeBron and and those guys to make championships. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video, plus all my social media links, description. Twitter's the fastest way, then Facebook, then Instagram, all the links there. Want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think about the viewership. And I think a lot of it's to the pan due, due to the pandemic. But hey, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level, you got loyalty badges, you got custom emoji badges, and you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video, that wanna see the video. But only members would be able to check. That's three dollars a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Um, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non boxing videos um, there, ten dollars a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content virtual video collaborations and open debate so you know if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video you got you got early access to new videos some of the videos in the all-stars world too and priority reply in the comments so i see in the comments you get priority reply you no know, instantly that's 20 dollars a month so uh let me know what you guys do what you think don't have a patreon no more so here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content i used to have on the patreon peace